Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, also known as ETCG1 on this here channel. Say it with me now. Here on ETCG1 we talk about stuff. We don't do repair videos, so uh, if you're into repair videos, check down in the description and click the link to the Eric the Car Guy channel and you can go there and watch some repair videos. However, if you wish to stick around and join in the conversation, I welcome you to do so. And it is now the tradition on ETCG1 to say, hey, if it's your birthday, Happy birthday. On to today's topic. Now recently I did a video about distracted drivers and how I was somewhat annoyed by a woman who had inadvertently cut me off while she was talking on her cell phone. Well, I don't know what it is, but recently it seems that just driving on the road, I think a lot of people are kind of impatient. It's around the holidays, that might have something to do with it. A lot of stress, a lot of places to be in a hurry, that type of thing. But. Let's, let's talk about bad drivers. Let's just talk about bad driving in general and how annoying it can be. So this morning I'm driving in a school zone and uh, 20 miles an hour is how fa fast you're supposed to go and that's how fast I was going. And then I made a turn around the school and I had some lady again, like just trying to drive her truck right up into my trunk the whole time. And I got to a place and there was, it, it was cold this morning and somebody wanted to cross the street. I actually stopped to let them cross the street and she went to go around me uh, while this pedestrian is trying to cross the street. And I'm like, really, really? I mean, come on, do you have to be there that freaking quick? Now, I'll be the first to admit, when I get behind somebody who maybe perhaps doesn't necessarily know where they are, looking for where they're going, that type of thing, and maybe they're going like half the speed limit, I get a little frustrated and I might tailgate a little bit to let them know I'm a little annoyed. But when I'm going the speed limit and people are, are driving up my butt, that's, that's that's kind of burns my biscuits a little bit. Uh, also, people that pass on the right, ugh, can't stand that. And if, if they're tailgating me on the highway, I get out of your way. I'm not going to try to race you or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just looking for a suitable place to where I can get over and let you go by. Just go on, speed on by, just go for it. And you can tell me where the cops are. I, passing on the right, it's just flipping dangerous. Hey, I, I, I hate it. I hate it when people pass me on the right. That just annoys me to no end. Uh, and the tailgating thing, and the driving slow in front of me thing, and just other people in general. I guess I guess I just should just move someplace with a very low population and not worry about this anymore. Or maybe quit this whole YouTube thing altogether and just disassociate myself from society because I'm sounding like a crotchety old man at the moment, and I'm a little disappointed in myself for it. I'm I'm pretty sure that that most of us watching this drive or want to drive or know about cars or have been on the road and know about these annoying people that are out there doing annoying things as they drive. And it, it runs the gambit, and, and in many different places. In fact, in, in European countries, I'm seeing a lot, and there's tons of videos on the internet about this thing, they're using dash cams to document these people doing these just unseemly, just stupid things that they're out there doing. Uh, so they don't get in trouble with their insurance company when these people end up causing accidents. Because let's face it, I mean, being annoying is one thing, but it can also be quite dangerous and you can create issues for other drivers on the road. And that's, that's what we're really concerned about is, is when we start to affect other people. This brings me back to when we started talking about autonomous vehicles and them driving themselves. And maybe we wouldn't have to worry about this anymore if we took out the human element. But then where would be the fun be in driving? What would be the point of getting in the car and going someplace? Uh, you'd just be going someplace. That's all you'd be doing. But you know, you could do other things, maybe play on your iPad or drink a six pack, I, I don't know, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you're into. <laughs> but you would not have to worry about being distracted any longer because the vehicle would have taken over and uh, communicated with the other vehicles on the road and everything would be all nice and wonderful and utopian all the time. Nah, I'm not seeing that. So until that time comes in the foreseeable future, we're just going to have to put up with people that may not be so considerate and may do inconsiderate things. But I will put out this word of caution. I've worked on a car or two in my day, and I've been inside a glove compartment or two as a result of that. And I can tell you that more people are packing than you think. And if you think that, you know, getting angry with somebody and going out there and, you know, giving them a piece of your mind is the way to go, you might get a little unpleasant surprise as a result. So be careful uh, how you react to these, well, we'll just call them stupid people out on the road because, uh, you know, those types of altercations can turn ugly really quick. So don't put yourself in that situation. Instead, comment, 
rate, subscribe, <laughs> do those kinds of things to this video. Tell us about your experiences with uh, people that annoy you. What types of things annoy you about people on the road? Love to hear about it. There'll be a link in the description to a discussion about this video over on my forum. In addition to that, if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you uh, head over to airatthecarguide.com. There's a welcome video there to tell you about the stuff that we have to help you with automotive issues. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. And uh, I post ETC21 videos on Monday, so stop back and see me then. And I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. See you next time.